Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the video. Today's video, I want to show you guys my multiple tournament winning Elledge deck utilizing the most underrated card in Yu Gi Oh! right now that no one's talking about, and that is Lord of the Heavenly Prison in the main deck. Before we get into it, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the subscribe button because we're almost at 52,000 subscribers. So make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and make sure. Get your beautiful Endymion playmat before they're all sold out. We only have about, I think, six left at this time. They're going to be sold out probably by the time you see this video. But get it anyways. Probably we'll still have the sale going on at $20 off until Tuesday. So get it now. Anyways, let's get started. So for the monsters, you play two Golden Lord and two Lord of the Heavenly Prison. You side into the third to play around cards like Feather Duster, Lightning Storm, etc., etc. But the fact that how powerful this card is, going, like, I understand it's better going first but going second you set five traps you save this you reveal it your cards can't get destroyed and then you just summon it back and get your follow-up you get your extravagance you get your chris Line, you get your scarlet you get everything you need you get the trap to clear your opponent's board you get the needle ceiling to clear the board you get the floodgate you get the skill drain doesn't matter get the imperial order against the best deck pendulum doesn't matter it's so insane it's so insane so but you still only play two but you sign into the third so two of each, and they're level 10. Don't forget it. So the extra deck is packed with great rank 10s to be able to use a lot of combos with them. Next, you play three Extravagance and three Chris Elan. Chris Elan, we used to take it out, but now we need to play it, and I'll explain exactly why. Activate Chris Elan. Response with your DPE. No. Add. Send DPE. You need to send the DPE. DPE is a problem with this deck. If you just said five traps that are like Torrential, etc., dpe will pick your board apart so if you want to play around dpe you got to get with the meta last format ln was ass because it's for so much reason i can write a university level essay on why chris ln is garbage but this format you need access to get rid of the dpe and then once the dpe is off the board you set up your wakero scarlet and three ice prisons to clear that and d barriers that's right dimensional barriers this deck is made to beat this meta and i'll show you guys exactly everything in it very important to play ln this format so right there is your 10 offensive cards. Post side deck, you remove all six post side against combo decks, by the way. Against combo decks, a heavy combo, they're going to burn the floor and negate your one spell card, your one extravagance. Some decks, you need to put in the classic sphere mode lava golem over those to ensure that your, your set five will resolve. Anyways, that's for main, main, like that's for side decking theory. But next, the LH engine, you're going to play three, three, and two. I'm even going to add a double trap trick. The reason behind it is you have 20 offensive cards. Trap trick gets the Scarlet to get the engine rolling. Now, in the past, you could play Nadir, you could play Ecclesia, but this format, everyone, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not, everyone's playing Droplets, everyone's playing Imperm, everyone's playing Chalice, everyone's playing cards like this to stop your, your Dogmatica Ecclesia. Why would you make cards in their deck use, useful? Typically, when you're playing a Trap Elledge deck like this, your opponent ends up having to keep the impermanence in the deck. They have to keep the chalice in the deck. They have to keep the droplets in the deck. They just don't have enough cards to take out. Use that to your advantage. Playing cards like Ecclesia don't allow that. That's why this card activates in the hand. You could use this and it doesn't conflict with like their chalice, imperm, all that will be dead. They can't chalice this. Though they could if they want to have a dead card. And that's why you need that. And then Trap Trick, I'm considering this a fourth and fifth Scarlet when you want it to. But also, you could just get your actual engine going. So this is 18 offensive cards, but they're still traps. They all get traps. Very powerful. And now the actual insane traps are double trap trick. You don't want to play three. You want to make sure all your traps are alive, no matter what. Three torrential, three punishment, two D barrier. I can't stress enough. This format D barrier is absolutely broken. Sword Soul, Synchro, DPE decks, Fusion, Lyra Lusk. Oh, use Canary Effect. That's fucking cute, bro call xyz it's so good this meta it really is and it even stops the best deck pendulum it is so broken this meta so you, in any trap deck play too and the fact that it's searchable and accessible by not just trap trick but also heavenly lord of the prison whatever that card is called it's insane this format it's it's vital to play it especially post side deck this is your eighth and ninth way to play around duster and reboot the sorry not reboot you can't play around reboot play around duster lightning storm because you just activate your deep area and they're they 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 pass. They don't do anything against for so many decks this format. Two Needle Ceiling. Again, the most underrated trap for the longest time. It, the card does not say there needs to be four monsters in the field. It doesn't say that. What it actually says is there needs to be three. Your opponent just needs to summon three monsters. Because you're going to activate your Okero. 
You're gonna activate your Conquistador. You're gonna activate your your Lord, your Scarlet. You're gonna activate your Heavenly Prison to summon it. You only need three. Your opponent summon three monsters. That's really easy to accomplish. And with Trap Trick, it's insane. Very important. Three Ice Prison. This is the only card that's a hard once per turn as well as like Magic Punishment, just because they're so absolutely broken. Where you're gonna need to play these at three. They're the only three of that you play. I'm even playing two Floodgates just in case. The floodgates are useless against a certain deck. You don't want useless cards. These are the only ones that you cannot use double up in the turn. The reason why you do it is punishment. You already know how broken it is. Sent to very vital to have that accessible. Uh, but Ice Prison, here's why. Very simple. It's three letters. D-P-E. That card is a problem. But not just the D-P-E. We're talking even the Celestial. Now, they don't know you have an Ice Prison set. They don't know that. They don't know that. When they activate their Celestial... <laughs> what are you, bro? Doing good. I'm a plate doctor. Okay, nice. So, on their turn, they're going to uh, attempt to, to use DPE to pop your set. Chain. Ice Prison. Get rid of Celestial. Get rid of DPE. Very important. Ice Prison is insane. This format. Very vital. Very, very, very vital. Next, we got three strike. This obvious. Now, the floodgates. Just one order, one skill drain. Skill drain, you, uh, your Heavenly Lord Prison plays around the skill drain in order. You just play these. And then lastly, only two goes in. Reason why. There's going to be decks goes in not good against. And on top of that, uh, Ho Heavenly Lord Prison is a dark. So you're only playing two of them. It doesn't conflict too much, especially because you know you're going to have them. A lot of the times when you do activate this card, you go goes in, flip, and then activate this. And this alone is enough. Like they have to clear a 3k beater while they can't actually play, so it's enough. So it's fine. But you also don't want to play too many in case it doesn't affect the opponent. That's it for the main deck. Extra deck now. Double Pleiades. Very, very, very vital. I don't think people understand how broken Pleiades is. It's a free interruption for nothing. And they don't expect it. So use it with the cock walk very easily. <clears throat> now for your rank 10 plays. You got Gustav, the Sky Palace. No one knows about this on Lieb and Zeus. So, oh, this goes on top of them. But... You go Gustav, uh, that's typical, right? Well, if you can't kill them with the Gustav, Sky Palace is infinitely better. What Sky Palace does is it pops a card and burns 1,000 instead of 2,000. Then it says you can't attack turn, you activate it. That's fine. Leave effect. You just slap this one on top. By the way, you also slap Zeus on top of them all. If you really want, you get a 4 material Zeus going. So very vital that you play those XYZs, and you're, you, these is, you go into these all the time because of the new uh, Heavenly Lord of Prison. Uh, for punishment, you play double Nittis and one at Ignister. A lot of people combo decks go very long. So if you punish for something right away, if you only punish for one thing, if you have to, send this. Eventually, they're going to try and out uh, two turns later a Conquistador, and they won't see it coming. Uh, Link Spider in Duck. You don't want Extravagance. You don't want to banish uh, two Link 1s. You play this because it goes in match. It just ensures a way to put uh, Elish in the graveyard. Play Lina. Lina is better. I just don't have Lina. Play Lina. Uh, two Nightmares, one Phoenix, one Cerberus. Because of the Link Spider, you want to make sure you have both of them accessible and live. One name gear suit better than unicorn because you're always gonna have the links when you go into a nightmare play, you always have a link spider underneath it, so you, they go into a name gear suit, which you're gonna want to send out like a golden land in your graveyard to, to send rather than discard. That's it for the extra deck side deck three sphere three lava gold. You already know what it is mandatory, 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 mandatory. Funny stat here one, two, three, four, five, ten level. Sometimes three more does come back to you, it's a level 10. Just saying, deck's insane. Play your lows always. For going first, you play these four. You already main deck this one, but for going first, is broken. broken. Now, in the combination with these four, two Heavenly Prison, Imperial Order, you have seven outs, the Duster, Lightning Storm, etc. And on top of that, you have the D Barrier. So you really have nine. You really have nine. And if your opponent has evenly matched, you're fine because you activate D Barrier and you set your, you keep your best trap. You set four to play on evenly matched post side. So evenly matched doesn't even do that much in decks that you, when, you, when you open D Barrier. And now you also play two, uh, for trap decks, you play two Storm Duster. The two is the special number because of trap trick. Now the next three, there's needle sitting is not good against every deck. You you main two, you side the third for decks is good against. Next goes in match not good against every deck, but for ones it is. To break boards you play these going second in combination with lava golem sphere mode. And then lastly trap trick. Trap trick equals a third storm duster or a third needle sitting third torrential going second, where trap trick is going to be negated a lot, so it's it's solid. That's the deck absolutely broken. Doesn't matter if you win the roll or lose the roll. The only way you lose the match 
is if your opponent has Duster or Reboot twice. And that's not going to happen because no one's playing it. Only in Locals they'll play it if they know for a fact that you're playing Elish in Locals. They'll counter side pick you for that reason. So just don't let anyone know you're playing this deck and you'll be fine. Deck's insane. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button if you got this far. Comment down below why Elish is insane but not as insane as Pendulum. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. And lastly... Got your beautiful Adenia play mats, guys. Sale goes on until Tuesday. Make sure to get yours right now. $20 off. We'll see you guys next video. Peace.